Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with Scrappy Saturday, and we are going to make some clusters. I'm finding myself low on small clusters, so that's what we're going to be up to. Let's say hi and hugs first to Tana, Darlene, Lorraine, and Kath. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay. We are going to do the, the sheet method of, of clusters. And so let's, let's get started. I am thinking we'll start with this. Um, and you've seen me do this before, I think, but never hurts to remind there are new people all the time. I'm going to use some of these scraps. Um, these are Florentine papers from that I got from um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I think it's just good to use up some, use up some little bits here. I use that one. Um, let's see. Let's see what else. Well, we'll want some green ones when we do the red. And my plan is to pop these together like lickety split. That's my plan. Like I want to do multiple sheets. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that works. Okay. I might use that one a little bit. Okay. That's probably enough to start, get started with. And um, I kind of, I kind of have a formula that I want to use for this, which is always a good thing when you have when you want to make lots you know okay so i have bits i also have some of this lace so okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to pop down little pieces of paper to begin with so I'm just deciding how big I feel like I I use them I they're easier to use when they're small is what I kind of feel like so we're just gonna let me get my glue stick out I might need a new glue stick yeah this one's at the very end I'll use that off camera and get a new one so that we're not fussing around with that okay sleeves are up so we're getting serious here so my friend that helps me keep my house clean, she is here today. And so um, if you hear thumping and bumping, that's what it is. But um, gosh, she's such a doll. I just love her. Okay, so I'm just going to put a ti the tiniest bit of glue on these just to hold them I just I just want to hold them because I it, ultimately we're gonna sew this so I think this one might go better on red so So, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Once again, as this airs, I will be I will be in Bozeman watching my granddaughter. You know, one of my favorite things to do. So, we're getting to the end of the season where it's going to be divisionals. They're sort of like playoffs and then um and then the state tournament. So e -e 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 -e. we're getting we're getting down to the wire here. So um, and right now they are. I think Mike said they were in fourth place. So they have a little they have a little work to do. They need to win all the rest of their regular games. Is what needs to happen because I think they only take the top four from the division so eek we're right on the bubble so 
it's a little bit spooky. Let's see, let's, let's tear off a bit of this. So anyways, that's happening. Let's see what else. Oh, really horrible headline in the paper today. Montana apparently is the highest um, COVID cases per 100,000 people in the nation. Awesome. Ugh. It's just awful. It just makes you feel like, are we ever going to get back to normal? Is there going to be another? Is there going to be normal? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so anyway, that was not fun to to see today. But okay, so I'm enjoying having all these different ones. Yeah, so that's the bad news. We don't want to dwell on the bad news. Um good news is I got an appointment today with my doctor for um, to um, to check my thyroid that's the next step in all this rash thing <clears throat> and if my thyroid is fine then I just have to live with it it's just it's just it's just there. That's all. Okay, how about this? Isn't that pretty? For the most part, my journals are red and green. This one will be good for um, the kit that I'm using from Paper Baker Creations has a little bit more um, maroon than it does red, so that'll be a good piece for that. Just tearing all the edges here. Maybe a slightly bigger one. Okay. So, let's see what else. Haven't really watched any notable good movies recently. We've been watching gangster movies. <laughs> but the one last night had John Travolta in it, so that was kind of good. What was it called? Um Lonely Hearts. That's what it was called. But Violent, oh my goodness. Let's see. So, okay. There we go there. Just put a little tiny bit of glue on them. Call it good. Oh, I like this one on there. It's really, really cool. Oops. Really, I'm only putting enough. I'm going to do one more line of that. I really like that. Um... I'm only putting enough glue on to hold it in place while I sew it, not to hold it forever. So, I need two more little ones. So weather here is good today. Um, I think it's supposed to be good most of this week, but um, then on the weekend we could get snow. So I think Friday Mike and I are going to go out and cut our Russian sages. They are monsters. <laughs> They're huge. Oh my gosh. So. Look at all these clusters we're going to get. So anyway, we need to get that done. Okay, so now I'm going to put 
a little bit of doily on each one. So I'm just gonna start tearing. I'm gonna set my glue right here. I'm gonna go like that. Maybe to the side a bit. <laughs> she gonna get it? I don't know if she's gonna get it. Okay, that's good enough. So it's sort of quick and just, it's a good way to use up scraps too. We happen to be doing Christmas in this, in our world. And even if I like make these all go in the same direction, it doesn't matter because they're going to be torn out and then, you know, and then who knows. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done these, so I'm going to put that over there. I promise they'll look better than they do now at some point. <laughs> at least we're hoping so. Oh, goodness. Um... I like them with not as much of that on there. So I'm going to try for less of that. Just tear that off like that. But I think this is a, a pretty good, pretty good formula for these is to um, put down your paper and then put down a doily and then we'll put down um, after that we'll put down uh, lace and then um, then we'll sew I don't know why I'm going from right to left Okay, do kind of go through the doilies, don't you? This, these doilies were from, ah, from a pack um, from Amazon that my friend Lorette shared the pack with me. Thank you, Lorette. I use them all the time. I don't know, they, you know, how Amazon is. I think they came in a pack of like five million or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Mike's helping me down here today. He's doing some downloading and stuff. And then um, at 11, he's going to list the William Morris journal for me. Um, it's It was an early bird notification for my Patreon folks. And so, um, but you know, I can't be doing a video and Etsy doesn't have a way for you to um, schedule things like YouTube does. So anyway, so he is watching the clock and gonna hit publish for me. such a good teammate he is so well we are coming right along one more and then um then comes the lace so we'll see see what we think looks good on these maybe do a couple of couple of things of or, you know a couple of different kinds of lace is what I'm trying to spit out okay that did not work get it up under my fingernail 
<laughs> Yuck. Okay. Okay, so we're just about done with this. Okay. All right, so now um, the lace, I'm going to, hmm. Oh, sorry. I hit you. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's put the lace on. I guess we better use Fabri-Tac, even though I don't really... It's so messy. I don't love working with it, but we will. Okay, so here's here's a good piece that we could cut down a bit. No, oh, is that too big? It's a little big. I'm gonna cut it again, and we'll have four of them. I'm just gonna kind of. I think I'll get the lace ready before because then I can just cut 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 and then I can just glue 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 um we've got six so we've actually got two dozen and six more so that's really good okay let's use some Christmas here let's see if we can find the end okay so I'm just going to clip, clip. Yeah, I like those. Clip, just a snippet. And then let's try this one. Which again, got to find the end on here. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Yep. Okay. Gosh, the sound of the vacuum cleaner upstairs could put me right to sleep, I swear. Okay, so there's that, and I don't think I'm going to use the red on this one. Okay, what else do we have for little little bits here? Do I have a lot of, oh, how about this? Just white. I'm going to use that down here, I think. I'm going to try to put very little lace or very little glue on this so that I can sew this pretty soon. Okay, I have one more, one more bit, one more row. So I'll just finish this up. Okay, one more little snip of something. I'll just grab grab something here. <clears throat> Will that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was also thinking about having a bit of um, a, a, a cheesecloth, but I don't want it to be too lumpy, you know? else that could be there's one and I have a lot of thin lice in here I have to remember that I'll just choose one of these there that's kind of a thick one but that's okay okay now, glue, glue, glue. Just a tiny. 
tiny bit. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Ah, see, starting to get sticky. So I told you the movie we watched last night. I don't know if I've told you we're watching the second season of The Morning Show on Apple TV with uh, Jennifer Aniston in it and Reese Witherspoon. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Difficult subject matter, I feel like. Okay. Okay, I'm going to when I get these stuck on here, I think we'll we'll do another page. Um maybe different a little different size too, I don't know. And we'll let this dry and then we'll sew it. I'll show you at least the rest of the process, you know. Okay, where? I must have thrown my... It's like I use the same paper towel for a week and then I change it out. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just going to let those dry for the moment. Lots of clusters. That's exciting. Okay, let's do the red, the red color. Now, um, and see how it does. You know what I might do too? I'm s now I'm starting to get foxy here. <laughs> That's my mom would have said. Um, I have these papers. I'll show you in just a second here. Um, these I got on Amazon. They came in a pack of like five of them. They're just, they're from China. But I think they might be nice layering papers is why I got them. This one I particularly liked because it's, um, it's like ledger. And it's just white on the back. But I was thinking some of that might be kind of fun underneath the green. Um, I realize I'm wasting more than I'm using here at this point, but I want to get it torn down. These ones are going to be bigger. Can you tell? A little bit bigger. Maybe five per line instead of ah. five 
five per line and only four lines this time. Okay, um, maybe we'll do some with, there's some music too. I mean, I actually prefer using digitals for something like this, but I thought, I don't know, these weren't very expensive, and so I figured I almost couldn't print them for that, so... There we go. Okay, then let's put this on. We'll have some of this too. <laughs> this is the um, print that Rachel has it in one of her kits and I put it in my altered book. You guys were all letting me know I had it upside down like this. But there was a label on it with numbers, and it was like this way. And so it was decide whether you want this right side up or the numbers right side up. I went with the numbers. So I'll just decorate over it. No biggie. little bits might be fun on you know when I'm doing ephemera or something as a little bit of color okay let's see We use some of this again. Kind of just going by size here. friend that cleans was a little bit late today so I think Mike and I are going to be hungry for lunch. She does the, the area where the kitchen is first and then she texts me and says I'm done on the main floor. <laughs> um, let's do a few more of these. Yes. Okay. And then, do we want some of this? Yeah. I'm just layering this on and not gluing because I do want to get to the sewing of the other one so I can finish the process for you. I 
think on this one, well, I put some some green lace, but then I might use a little bit of, of the uh, cheesecloth, like I was saying. And then maybe in tomorrow's video, I'll just show you what we ended up with or something. I'll finish the one. Let's see, I need a small one here. Okay. One more. And one more little piece. Okay, and then let's see. <clears throat> I do have some green cheesecloth. Might be kind of fun. I'm just unfolding it. I don't want it to be that thick. There you are. Okay. Let me use my big scissors. Oh. There we go. Okay. Let's cut you in half. And then half again. And this one. Gosh, can't get it to straighten out. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that green tint is nice. And ended up kind of being double thickness. Oh gosh. That's why the gluing helps. <laughs> Just an example of why the gluing helps. Doesn't help that my fingers are sticky. There we go. <clears throat> did I miss that whole row? I sure did. Okay. Here you little devil paper. Okay, so then let's do a little bit of just coffee dyed. Almost there. Okay. One more. Okay. So that's going to be that one, and then it'll it'll be so well. I'll probably try and glue it a bit and then sew it down. But let us, oh my gosh, 
pick up our mess a little bit and remove all that. And then we'll sew our green one. I'm going to set this one carefully, ever so carefully, over here to be finished. Okay, so, 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 we're going to sew. Okay, so here's our piece of paper. And, um, I'm trying to decide. I think I'll go, you can go zigzag or straight stitch. I think I'm going to go, Well, maybe I'll switch partway through, but I think I'm going to go straight mostly because I don't want the sewing to be the main, the main thing that you see, you know, so I'm just going to kind of just sew randomly. like that big thick piece. Yeah, that's fine. Just, just be careful to catch your bits. I'm going to do one more and then we'll go zigzag with the rest. zigzag on the rest just for fun. going the right way. Get rid of my sewing machine. And now, so we're gonna need our scissors because you kind of gotta cut through the cut through that where it's sewn. But I am just gonna tear and give that a little snip. And just tear these out. Now this one on the corner, I'm going to tear the edges. And there's our little cluster. Get rid of that. So there's one. Okay, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to clip through that stitching and and keep in mind these will be um, these will be 
glued to your ephemera piece or your page or wherever you choose to use them. So you don't have to worry about the stitching coming out. That's why I didn't back stitch at all or anything. There we go. And then we'll just, I'm just going to tear down and then, and then we'll just snip those threads. Let's try not to snip the lace. Okay, so there we go. Then you just continue. is really fun it's just it's real oh, let's tear down first to the stitching it's real satisfying because <laughs> you get a whole bunch of them okay snip stitch I think it was Carol Laws that originally had this idea you guys correct me if I'm wrong but I I saw it on Rachel's channel on Roxy Creations, but then I'm pretty sure Carol Laws came up with this. She's so smart. She she comes up with things that are very much kind of time savers, um, I feel like. Okay, so now you see how you, you do that. Let's decorate a few just for fun. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe, I don't know, that one, maybe, um, my joey card maker kit that i'm doing a journal out of there are these fun little circles i was thinking of maybe one of those for on there yeah that's cute of course i need to give it a little this can you hear the hear the chairs moving upstairs oh that's what i meant to do i meant to um put pads on my chairs because it scratches the floor, but I forgot. I mean, they are on there, but there's just a few legs where they're missing. Okay, I think I'm going to put that little candy cane right there. And because it's me, I need to... This green paper is... Um, dyed and so the white shows through a little bit okay so there's there's one little guy ready to to go somewhere <laughs> um the other thing you can do is put words on it or flowers or you know various things like that um I'm just going to look and see if I have anything in this in this one that's I have like a a seal like a letter seal no I don't care for that but this one I do have words so let's let's cut out a word put there Once 
again, I'm looking at, I forgot to look at my clock, but I'm pretty sure it was 1130. So if this is <laughs> an hour and a half video, I do apologize. <laughs> look, won't that look cute on there? This is too thick. That's a bit thick. I think I'll put like a flower or something on there. But this one, that one could go there. Just get a couple of them decorated anyway. I kind of hate to cover up all of that. I'm going to go kind of up here. I'm going to actually tear off those corners a bit. Okay, there's that one. Let's there we go. There's that one. It might could use a little something like Maybe a little, I don't have any red bling, do I? Um, don't see any. Okay, so, but I could use a pearl. This one's for you, Lorette. Friend Lorette, she loves herself some pearls. I'm not very good at using them. She is, however, the layering queen, so she is good at it. The layering queen and the shabby chic queen what I would say about my friend Lorette. Yeah, I am so full of glue. Okay, put three little pearls on there. That will do. Okay. Then, the, probably the easiest thing to do, let me grab oh, oh, oh. there they are. Oh, those look like fun. Just grabbing a couple other things out of my ephemera box, but the, probably the easiest thing to do is a flower. And I kind of want to put a flower on this one because I think it'll stick better than anything else. That one or this one. Or this one. That one's too big. like that one. It's a little neutral. And um, the other thing that, that I do is just leave them in this form until I know where they're going to go and then decorate them because sometimes you want a certain thing on them. Okay, so those three are decorated. Um, I was also looking at this. Look at these little stamps are fun. Somebody sent those to me or I bought them on Etsy. I can't, I don't remember. Oh, I didn't. Go. 
Okay. Um, I really like that one too. Yep, I'm going to put that one there and this one here. Do a couple of those. Kind of covering up the whole paper, but I could go down like that. I'm just putting glue in the middle because the sides will probably hang off a bit. I want that. I like that. Um, so, then, what else could we do? thinking a little sprig of holly would be nice, but I'm trying to think of a kit that might have a small enough one. Okay. Um, I did this. Just saw something else. That covers up all the lace. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Um, let's see. In my Vintage Christmas Joy from a Jewel Design, what they might have in here that is small. Um, there is some small stuff in here. A little Santa. Cover, that's the the balance is not covering up everything else you've layered. I mean, you cover up bits of it, but don't want to cover up the whole thing. So let's see if there's some, I mean, how cute are these little kids? But see, it just covers the whole. No. Ooh, there's some holly. That's good. Everything I've been doing, I've tried, tried to incorporate the various kits that I'm planning on using and making ephemera form and stuff. Not just planning, I'm going to use because I'm, I'm partway there already. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, let's. How do I have that? Maybe like that. Cool. I like that one. Um, we've got a little Christmas box. I like that. And these just come in real handy for, you know, if you need a a little focal point on a small pocket or just want something on the edge of a page or whatever so there's lots of lots of uses for them okay this one right here okay 
And let's just look through, see if there's anything else. Ooh, there's a teeny weeny little Santa. That would be good. Yep, right there. Perfect. There's that little one. Okay, so I have a few more left. I think I'm going to call it a video just because I'm not positive <laughs> when I started. Um, and you've got the you've got the gist. So I'll show you what we made. So we have those two little ones these two little ones, this one, and this one, and then these two. So pretty quick you can get, and then, you know, we have that whole other page that I need to sew. So in an hour, you can get a lot of these made. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for joining me. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.